I'm a research scientist at the Carnegie Institute in Washington, and this is the IAM Microprobe Lab. Uh, an IAM Microprobe is a, a mass spectrometer. It's a secondary IAM mass spectrometer. So we have a, a source of ions produced over there, and the ions would be focused, uh, accelerated to hit your target over here and then it will be extracted through a different electronic uh, lenses high voltage lenses and passing through a mass spectrometer to be separated uh, into different masses then get uh, measured using different uh, detectors over here and you can also display the ions using this channel plate and it's shown on the on the computer so we we can use a computer to control uh, uh, different showing different masses and what we are seeing now is the silicon 30 from a sample which is uh, it's some kind of a glass and it's been polished and gold coated and the bean size show this is a, uh, a spot that's been uh, hit by a primary ion and uh, the spot is about 25 microns and what we are seeing now is actually the ion image from that spot it's the silicon 30 ions the target is sitting here and the primary ions is a cesium ion it's focused to about uh, uh, 15, nano, uh, 15 microns and hit the sample and then the secondary ions I extracted and show, uh, detected over here. Secondary ions is the ions when after your sample gets hit. So your primary ions is the ions coming from there and it's been hit, uh, it's been accelerated and focused and hit on this target. The target would generate secondary ions. That's the ions coming out from your sample and then you do the secondary ions would be focused, accelerated, and then getting passed through uh, spectrometers, and then uh, displayed, detected by uh, uh, by the electron uh, by the channel plate, which is uh, displayed over here. This only shows where the uh, ion beams uh, coming from the from the spot. You have a peak, but uh, this mode, you only detect any ions that's coming out from your, uh, your target. You can uh, measure a peak, but uh, that's not from this, uh, this mode. The peak is measured using a, a program. We have different modes of detecting ions. One mode is just uh, showing you what the what the uh, ions coming from the, uh, the sample using an image and another mode is measuring different isotopes coming from that, uh, that spot so we do a, a, a scanning of different masses using the mass spectrometer changing the magnetic field and detecting isotopes at the different uh, uh, masses if you want to measure uh, carbon isotopes uh, and uh, nitrogen isotopes using this machine you have to uh, use in two different sessions because nitrogen is a, a trace element in diamond and uh, carbon is a major element so you have a lot of carbon signal and you do uh, carbon isotopes at the one session and you measure uh, nitrogen isotopes and nitrogen concentration in a different uh, session and also Nitrogen isotopes, you need uh, there are some mass interferences, so you need to have a much higher mass resolution to separate some minor uh, or sometimes major uh, peaks from nitrogen signal. To do a mass uh, scan, you can uh, scan the range of masses and try and figure out what are the interference, what are your major signal. I can show you uh, one of the scan of the mass scan of a, of a mass. So this is a program showing you uh, 
scanning a, a mass, say this one, we are trying to measure carbon, hydrogen, fluorine, uh, uh, silicon, uh, and sulfur and chlorine in this program. And you can actually scan different masses. And this is uh, uh, scanning a mass of uh, carbon at the moment. And you can change to scan different uh, kind of masses.